Hey, uh, I wanted to append some of the things I was saying in my video yesterday about um, how the sexual revolution has taken this odd turn lately where they're attempting to fetishize ugliness. And uh, it's, it seems like there's so much, so much there, so much to talk about with regard to all of that. But a few things that I, that I failed to mention um, in the video yesterday was... And, and, you know, I've come along to this, to this realization slowly because it was very hard for me to believe because, you know, when I grew up and things were more normal and even not so long ago when things were more normal, um, in the before time, um, you know, you just generally didn't see fat, ugly people, um, you know, promoted, uh, or, or, you know, you didn't see, or even average looking people, you, you just didn't see them in movies or TV shows that much, you know, sometimes, but not that much. And, um, you know, it, 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 it just, it just didn't seem like, and, and, you know, I, I never, I never like, um, had an opinion of myself as being particularly good looking. So it wasn't like I, uh, you know, related to, it was like part, part of what, part of, part of what alienated me from, uh, the, from media as it was presented was that, you know, it was just this, this, uh, you know, they, they, they showed, uh, things in over, what seemed to me an over idealized form instead of just sh showing a normal guy they had some some great looking guy some extremely handsome guy and they said oh yeah here's a normal like they had the, like they had the cast of friends oh these are just just these are just young people you know struggling to make it in new york and look at all their foibles and stuff um you know they were and they were all extremely good looking people um and they were all white but i you know today that's considered a problem i didn't think that was a problem but but it was the but anyway, uh, you know, things, things had proceeded along that line for so long that I didn't think they would really uh, go try to flip it or try to go the other way. And, you know, it's, it's not like you don't see good-looking people in, in movies anymore. I mean, it, it's not like the trend has totally reversed. But it, it, there does seem to be an effort made to, uh, to promote uh, or to, to fetishize ugliness, like I was saying the other day, uh, with the examples that I, that I gave, um, you know, there's, there's no way, <laughs> there's no way, um, you know, just, there, there's no way an artist like, uh, you know, a singer like Sam Smith, <laughs> you know, would, that like, even if they're trying to promote homosexuality, they, they would you would make more sense to have a really good looking uh, you know guy not a big fat guy big fat disgusting guy uh, you know just bleh. and you know I wouldn't ordinarily comment negatively on somebody's looks because I you know I don't I, for, for number one well, look at me what am I to what, what do I have to you know um, it's not like I'm great looking myself, but even if I was, that, that's the thing, you know, you should never talk about, you know, it, it's like one of those things where, you know, the whole ugly, ugliness insult, the whole, you know, being fixated on looks or, or making fun of people's looks, you know, you're going to look bad one way or the other, because if you're, if you're not good looking yourself and you're calling somebody else ugly, then it's like, look who's talking. But if you are if you are good looking and you're calling somebody else ugly, then that comes across as as uh, just mean. Um, so it's just generally better not to. I mean, it's and it is mean. It's not it's not a good thing to do. The only reason why I'm saying those things about Sam Smith is that it's it putting it in in our faces, you know. And I I feel that I have the right when they they're thrusting their ugliness at me, you know, right in my face. Uh, and I'm supposed to just take it. I, I mean, I, I, I've then, 
if you know all bets are off, then then I'm I feel I can feel free to say this is this is this is rank. This is disgusting. This is gross. This is um, this is a weird uh, psyop that y'all are that y'all are trying for now. Uh, that I didn't I really didn't think was ever going to uh, to fall out, but lots of unpredictable things are happening. Um, but of course there's, there are things to add to that. There's the whole, you know, fitness is a, a right, is right wing, uh, thing, which a lot of other commentators have pointed out that, that, uh, you know, you, you read, uh, like there have been pieces written in, in various mainstream outlets, neoliberal type outlets, you know, talking about how, uh, if you, if you want to, uh, to have a beautiful body, then that's, well, that's like, uh, that's a sign of being right wing. If, if you want to go to the, go to the gym and work out and, 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 you know, get to where you're, you know, where you're ripped, uh, or, uh, if in general, you just want to, uh, work on your appearance, work on not just your appearance, but work on getting, in, getting to be in better shape, you know, that that even that gets politicized and if you if you think i'm wrong just type in if if you if you don't know what i'm talking about just just type it into a search engine type in fitness is right wing and you'll see that a lot of things have been written like that like they're like they're saying oh it's you know this whole fitness thing this whole weightlifting thing it's just it's just a manifestation of the alt right <laughs> you know the, the ever present alt right um, so it just, and meanwhile, they try to make us think that people who are not attractive are attractive. They, they try to talk us into believing they're attractive and, you know, when they're, they're plainly not, they, like when they're morbidly obese, especially if they're women, especially if they're black women, uh, you know, we've just got to think, oh, that's, that's beautiful. Or if they're men <laughs> that, that are that are dressed as women or calling themselves women, you know, oh, let's, let's make her, uh, you know, the, the, um, the, uh, the new beauty queen, you know, um, so, so all that is going on, but it's really odd because at the same time, at the same time, there's this, uh, uh, effort to, um, you know, on the, on the, on the male side of things, there's this effort to, uh, to shame. Well, you know, it's become one of their, one of their favorite, uh, um, slurs is to call you an incel. And what is an incel? An incel is somebody who is involuntarily celibate. And an incel is a man, uh, who would like to have a girlfriend or a wife or would like to be you know, to, to, to have uh, a life where, where women are, uh, uh, you know, pay attention to him and, and are romantically interested in him, but, but, but finds that, that, uh, that's not the case. And, um, and so they, 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 they're, 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 they're they turn up their, you know, they, 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 they go full, you know, uh, full boo hiss, uh, you know, that they, 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 they turn incredibly mean, uh, uh, when, when it's, when the issue is ugly men, ugly men are just like to be piled on, you know, um, and, uh, that's okay, you know, and, uh, of course I've pointed out before, I've, I've, I've made videos about this before, how, you know, there's, there are all these, uh, videos of, of, you know, making fun of short men and, uh, women saying, you know, oh, well, short men are, you know, just, just, just saying all kinds of mean things about short men. And it's, it's supposed to be, ha ha ha, uh, you know, they, they should just take it, you know, they, they come on, man up. You can, you can take it, uh, you know. Um, and again, uh, uh, you know, I, on that, I have, I, I'm, I'm speaking as a man who is tall. Now I'm not, I'm not uh, incredibly good looking. So if on the incel thing, you could say, oh, well, you're just, 
you're just an incel yourself, no wiki, because look at you. But, but I am tall. That's something you can't take away from me. I am six foot three. So me talking about short men getting, getting laughed at is not, uh, not, um, doesn't come from personal experience, but it's just me pointing out this, uh, this phenomenon. So it seems that the, 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 it's the, the groups that they're mainly trying to tell you are, are, are good looking when they aren't. It's mostly either fat women or ugly women or men who, who are calling themselves women. It seems to be mostly those groups uh, who who they're trying to uh, uh, trying to promote uh, in some way into the the realm of, of beauty. But it, on the other hand, it's open season against anyone. If you're an ugly man, if you're a fat ugly man uh, who's heterosexual and doesn't doesn't uh, dress like a, a woman then you're just a fat, ugly man. But if you're a fat, ugly man who, uh, who calls himself a woman, uh, then you're, then you're beautiful, baby. Then, then, then you should win a beauty pageant. <laughs> um, and, uh, you know, so this, this whole, and this whole issue of fat shaming, it doesn't really seem to apply to anyone except, uh, except, except men or, or the whole, uh, I should say the whole, um, you know, castigating people for fat shaming, uh, it, it uh, that, that exclusively applies when somebody makes an observation that a woman is, is, uh, is larger than she, she needs to be, or is, uh, is unhealthily fat, unhealthily, um, obese, unhealthily overweight. Um, but, but there's no, uh, question of fat shaming. There's no question of, you know, uh, uh, you know, of, uh, body image, uh, you know, um, promoting people having a, a, uh, a positive body image unless they are of, of those particular groups. Um, now some would just, just say, uh, you know, this is, this is, this is a double standard and blah, blah, blah. And, it's unfair, and yeah, it is. An, it obviously is a double standard. The question is why? Why are they pushing it? Why is that? Why is that happening right now? It seems like it's 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 it seems like it's a way to aggravate the um, the war between the sexes even more. You know, it's it, it's sort of uh, promoting the idea of women being uh, unattractive and obnoxious. <laughs> and so men, you know, and, and having extremely high standards, like, like, you know, the, what I, what I talked about before, what I thought was a hoot about Kevin Samuels was how blunt he was, uh, you know, talking to some of the women that he talked to. I mean, it was, it was a little painfully blunt for, for me. Um, but, uh, but if the whole idea is to, uh, you know, to, 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 I mean, again, the sexual revolution boils down to an attack on the family. So, you know, at one point the sexual revolution was, uh, was, you know, just, put, uh, making you see beautiful topless women all the time and, and making you want to cheat on your wife and making you want to, making you think that monogamy was just too too difficult, uh, uh, because, you know, look at your plain wife and look at these beautiful women, you know, uh, gyrating and, uh, uh, uh you know, go-go <laughs> dancing and stuff, like the whole 60s thing, that, that was the, uh, um, you know, that, that was the strategy that was used then, and now that's not the strategy anymore, now the strategy is, uh, is ugliness, and, uh, you know, pro the promotion of ugliness and the promotion, you know, I think through, through the promotion of ugliness and fatness and unpleasantness, um, and, you know, uh, uh this freak show of, of, uh, you know, m men pretending that they're women, um, uh, 
the the idea behind all of that is is just to uh, to in, increase demoralization. Um, you know, it's it's to make, on the one hand, to to get inside the minds of women and say, you know, you're 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 fine just the way you are. Don't don't you try to change for no man. Uh, don't don't try to look good. Don't try to. Um, uh, you're, you're just insulting your, you're, you're just demeaning yourself. If you, if you try to look good, if you try to lose weight, if you try to, uh, I don't know, in some way, uh, you know, be the best self you can possibly be. Uh, and so it, it's, it's, it's making women, uh, more susceptible to this kind of, um, resentment, like, oh, men just want you to be this way. Uh, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to be whatever way I want to be. And, uh, you know, uh, and so women are encouraged to behave, you know, in this obstreperous, obnoxious, uh, way and also to, to be ugly and fat and, and, uh, <laughs> and, uh, and, 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 and while, while, while they tell men you're not good enough, you know, they're also, women are also encouraged to say to men you're not good enough. You're, uh, you know, I'm not even paying attention to you. Um, you, you don't make, you don't make X amount of money, uh, a year and whatever aggravating all of that on the, on the men's side, you know, the men just say, well, screw it. And they have like, you know, and that's been an oft noted trend. And in a way, you know, it's sort of like, a, um, I mean, I'm, I'm of two minds, as far as how I respond to to it, to, to news of, you know, more and more men just deciding not to have any kind of uh, life with women at all, just deciding to do without women. I know that, I know that, um, you know, in in a way, it's it's sort of the consequence of, of where feminism is, where, where this insane loony, uh, uh, you know, modern, whatever wave of feminism we're on now is, is pushing women into, into behaving. It's sort of like, you know, well, this is your just desserts. Now men aren't interested in you. Um, you know, it's, 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 it's easy to kind of see it in that way as a, yeah, you know, um, uh, take that, <laughs> take that women. But, but it's, but of, of course, on the other hand, you have to, you have to know, that not all men are alike, not all women are alike, and, and not all women are are embracing these kinds of ideas, and not all men are, um, you know, what whatever, what have you, and that kind of gets lost in the lots of, lost in the shuffle. Um, but also, you know, if if what they're trying to do, and I believe it is, if they're if their ultimate goals are depopulation and i believe that is their ultimate goal that they want there to be a lot less of us of us you know not them they uh meaning the so-called elites they are of a totally different breed but they want there to be less of us you know us cows us human cows uh you know uh, us blighted beings, uh, who, who only exist for their, uh, for, uh, you know, to be taken advantage of by them, to be, um, um, you know, cold when, when the, when the proper time comes. Um, and I, I truly think there is ample evidence to, su to suggest that is the, that the depopulation agenda is happening. It's, it's it's definitely definitely a foot um, and so that you know whether it's one one type of sexual revolution like the the, the hedonistic type of uh, type of thing that they were promoting in the 60s and 70s when they you know always had uh, beautiful girls and with long legs and you know, go-go boots dancing around and, and, and stuff and like, and, and, uh, when that was the aesthetic, uh, versus now where the aesthetic is purple haired, fat, fat girls who are screaming at you for being a misogynist. 
I mean, either way, um, it leads to the same ultimate result, which is depopulation, which is the devaluation of the family. Um, looking down on the idea of having a wife, having children, and, uh, you know, um, and promoting uh, uh, chastity and promoting monogamy. Um, so, anyway, those are just a few additional thoughts that I had uh, from my, uh, my uh, sort of rant uh, yesterday in my car. Uh, this time you get to see my face. I don't know if that enhanced the experience for you or not, but, uh, but anyway, um, so those are, those are some additional thoughts on the same subject. Let me know what you think below if you have some thoughts of your own and thanks for watching.